Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Architecture in 5 Minutes. In this episode, we are going to talk about Project Compello. To talk about Project Compello, we have the ideal person with us, uh, architect and the team lead of Compello in Voice App World, Risa Naya. We welcome you to this episode. And first of all, tell us about the Project Compello and in what sort of domain that you guys are working on. Okay, Ruksha. Uh, let me start with the function piece of the system. This is a noise approval management and workflow management system. Users can upload invoice images and PDF into the system. Some other users can enter the data into the system. Any decision maker or management, uh, management team can uh, approve the system. So it's something like a workflow management system. So we have the data, we have the invoice images, then we have the workflow. So based on these objects, we are uh, managing this application. Apart from that, we have the admin module and uh, we have the uh, OCR module. In the surface, you can see this as a simple system. There are a lot of rules, calculations, validations are running on the background. So in terms of development, there are a lot of uh, things we need to do in the background. So that's amazing domain that you guys working on. So let's dive into the architecture of the project Compello. Okay, so this project starts uh, around in two, two years back. So the, the project initially, this uh, project was a on-promise solution with a tiered architecture. But you know, with the uh, advancement of cloud technology, uh, we have moved this uh, project into the APEC cloud. So as the first uh, step of the uh, cloud migration, we have moved only the infrastructure of the, uh, our project into the cloud. With that, uh, we were able to reduce the uh, most of the cost, uh, like the operational cost, IT cost, even uh, the even with the minimal code changes, we were able to do this. So that's the first step of a code migration. And uh, as you can see in the diagram, there are three types of uh, apps we are providing for the customers to connect to our system. The first one is web app. Basically, it includes all the functionality of our system. Then uh, we have a special mobile app, which uh, only the approvers can use to manage their workflow invoices then apart from that we have a desktop app so what are the challenges that you face in in the current architecture and do you have any plans to overcome those uh, challenges and issues major thing is continuous delivery and adding new features to the system without breaking the existing uh, functionality importantly we have a performance problem as well so as a solution, we have started our second phase of cloud migration. So with that, uh, we are more focusing into cloud native services with microservices architecture. Rizwanaya, I noticed that uh, Azure App Service in newly proposed architecture. Uh, is there any reason and advantages uh, and key features in app services, Azure App Services? Azure App Services provides a lot of features to build up this architecture in a more efficient manner. The first one is that uh, it allows to build and deploy, even to run the uh, web apps, APIs, even the uh, notifications. Uh, in a seamless manner and um, it provides the infrastructure uh, without knowing from our side. It has a good pricing option including the pay as you go and it supports for continuous deployment uh, from the GitHub and other Git providers. Uh, it, uh, uh, importantly, it has the uh, high availability and auto scaling feature. So those are the main features it provides for us to develop microservices in this uh, Azure platform. If you take the Azure function, it allows to decompose our application into a smaller set of code pieces that will uh, that we can uh, develop, build, then uh, we can deploy and we can execute 
even we can test even we can manage independently so that is the that is the major uh, that so it will uh, play a major role in uh, architecting our this uh, new system using the microservices we know security is a highly important thing in every system so apart from all what are the security measurement that Azure provides uh, for our newly proposed architecture? One of the main uh, feature that provided in the Azure is a virtual private cloud where you can create your own uh, network within Azure so you will have more control over the resources you have hosted in the Azure ecosystem. Security center where you can manage the security of each services and it provides the uh, security issues, things that you can do to improve the security. So likewise, uh, it has a lot of uh, security features uh, built into the Asia system itself. With that answer, we can conclude our episode. So thank you so much Riswanaya, spending your valuable time with us and see you guys on next episode of Architecture in 5 minutes.